Keep it just good. Now, Joe, I know where it is. You start over here. So you needed a very good box for a very small picture. Mm -hmm. Now, they actually had technology back then to make this picture a little bit bigger. We've got that technology right over here. Let me show it to you. Okay. The lens. Yeah, the magnifying lens. It's actually, yeah, it's a bubble magnifier. And I think it was a little bit more frightening than amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Later in the 1960s, with the introduction of transistors, the technology got smaller and the picture got bigger. When the microchip was introduced, we entered the, uh, the digital age. Technology got even smaller and the picture even bigger. Take these TVs, for example. They use a revolutionary flat screen technology, which allows for a larger, clearer picture. I'm Diane Sawyer. And I'm Charles Gibson. And we're talking to you from the set of Good Morning America, where we begin each broadcast day here at the ABC Television Network. And the pictures you are seeing right now are being produced in our new high-definition digital TV format. It is called 720 Progressive. All right. Well, so far we've been talking about the advancements of TV technology. What about audio technology? What? <laughs> Records, cassette tapes, VHS tapes, and even the old A-track tapes all use analog recording technology. Now, the problem with analog recording is that records and tapes get worn down easily, destroying the video and audio quality. Always your favorite tape, too. Mm -hmm. Once again, the digital age came to the rescue. The information on CDs and video discs, because it's read by laser beam, doesn't get worn out or stretched over time. The digital format also allows us Pack more information into a smaller area. And more information needs a clearer picture and sharper sound. Now, speaking of sound, do you remember these giants? Oh, yeah. Speakers like the early console TVs were more like furniture than stereo components. But with today's technology, the new miniature speaker system will pump out as much audio as the big one. Check it out. First, our heavyweight. Right in your own home. Gee, a screaming kid behind you. <laughs> Lighting controls come a long way from these old mechanical real staffs that were big, ugly, and inefficient. But then Lutron perfected the dimmer, and like TVs and speakers, the lighting technology got smaller, smarter, and much more efficient. Not only can we create lighting effects in our home, but we can do it by remote. So while Lutron's making it possible for us to control lighting in our home, they're also partnering with the leading companies in the entertainment industry to combine lighting, video, and audio into a medium we call home theater. So now if you'd like to head into Sound Stage 22A, I'm going to show you some of today's home theater technology. <laughs> Except you. Yeah. Second time here. <laughs> well, instead of that, we're going to be using the three elements of lighting, video, and audio to create a three-dimensional sensory experience. Now, you've all heard directors call for lights, camera, and action. The reason they call for lights first is because it's the most important element that will create an environment and convey a mood. But when you think about lighting environments in your home, it usually consists of turning lights on and turning lights off. Well, being able to create just the right lighting environment can really enhance your living space and your home theater experience. Let me show you what I mean. Using some typical home lighting fixtures and a Lutron lighting control, I'm going to create some nice warm area lighting. 
I'll add these sconces for a little bit of ambiance. And I think these pictures could use some highlighting. Just for fun, I'm going to throw some fiber optic effects over the piano. I call that decorating with light. Lutron's given us the flexibility to create dynamic environmental lighting at the touch of a button. We could have a romantic evening, another lighting movie for playing with the kids, and my favorite, family movie time. But for the rest of our demonstration, I think this would be a little bit better. Now you can also control every light in your house by remote control, master keypad, and even if you're away from home, by touchtone phone. Now, after lights, what does the director call for? Camera. Camera. And to us, that means everything we see on the TV screen. And speaking of screens, there's space is a problem. The new flat screen technology like this Phillips will give you more flexibility, flexibility than ever. Does anyone know what movie this is? No? Definitely Mr. Holland's Open. Good movie. Now, flat screen technology is amazing, but the next big evolution is going to be high definition television or HD TV. I'll show you. HD TV, like this widescreen from Sony, gives you such a clear picture. You're going to feel like you're in the movies and not just watching it. In this picture in picture comparison, you can see the difference between a standard broadcasting image and a high definition image. Now, this HD TV, which is digital, will give you a picture up to six times as clear. Speaking of digital, you all know what this is a digital video disc or DVD. Well, digital systems like this DVD player not only gives you a clearer picture and theater quality sound, but will also give you access to multiple versions of the movie. You can watch it in a standard format or a widescreen format so you can see the whole image without cropping off the edges. You can choose from various languages, including captioning, or you can even instantly jump to any spot in the movie. In this case, the outtakes from the love bug. All right, lights, camera, next is action. And nothing brings action to life more than sound. When you're at home watching TV, you're usually listening to a stereo audio signal. And that's okay, but why not listen to it in three dimension as the Hollywood sound designers intended it to be? To do this, you're going to need a surround sound audio system and an audio video receiver, like the Kenwood, which is the real brains of the operation. Now, surround sound is three speakers up front for the dialogue and on screen action, and another set of speakers on the sides to carry the surround sound and the special effects. You've got one up by the exit sign and another one three quarters of the way up that glass wall. And hidden anywhere in the room, in this case, right under this basket, is our bass module. And that's going to produce the low bass frequency of sound, like explosions or the rumble of a train. Or somebody had too much Taco Bell. <laughs> that too. Now I'm going to put this all together, and I'm going to show you a clip from the movie Armageddon. First, in stereo. Oh, no! <laughs> Now you're going to hear and feel Armageddon. Hang on. Drop your ass now! I told you, touch nothing. Next yeah. line in the movie. There you go. Well, we place bass shakers on the repeat to give the flick an extra kick. <laughs> With surround sound, you're going to experience the movie and not just watch it. Okay, now there's still one thing I haven't talked about yet, and that's how to operate all this equipment. It's really very easy. All you need to do is learn how to operate this simple set of remotes. <laughs> 
But don't worry, with today's technology, we've got a better option. Take a look at this cool new touchscreen remote from Kenwood. You can integrate all of these into one easy to use unit. Less batteries. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Now, all the technology I've shown you in this room so far is available right now, so you can start building your own home theater today. But what does the future have in store? Well, as TVs become more interactive with the power of the internet and with digital satellite systems, we're going to be using them more as tools of communication rather than just entertainment. Surfing the web, checking your email, home security, and even shopping is all going to be done through your TV. And since Innovations is a place that shows you how technology will make your life better in the future, we've got a sneak preview of how incredible home entertainment can be. Lutron has brought together the top designers of home theater and the most advanced technology available to create something really amazing. So hold on tight, you're going to have the best seats in town to experience the ultimate home theater. And now, if you will stay seated for one more minute till I get to that back door, I'm going to show you to your private screening. Hi, I'm Roger Ebert. And I'm Richard Roper. And we consider ourselves experts when it comes to movie theaters. We should. We spend a good deal of our lives in them. So we have high standards when we watch movies in our own home theater. Why don't we take this one for a test drive? Good idea. Dim the lights, Roger. Check out the sound. some animation. You got it. you roger but i found myself really immersed in the whole show there's just one thing left to make it a complete theater experience well, what's that the end credits <laughs> <laughs> 